Hi roomies! Basic skills in Second Life. We're going to learn how to use the Marketplace Second Life um, website. This is not in World, although you can use it in World if you have your browser opening inside the client, the Second Life client, or Firestone, <laughs> whatever client you're using. So when you log into, Mar well not log in, but when you go to marketplace.secondlife.com, you're going to see this screen, okay? And you need to log in if you want to buy anything, otherwise you can't buy anything. So I will usually log in first before I purchase anything. And you need to have some Linden, unless you're going to be looking for just free items, okay? Now, the, there's lots of categories on the side here that you can find things in. You can also find the same categories here. And this is the maturity level of the items you're going to be looking at. And the options are general. General moderate, this is the one I usually use. General model, moderate and adult, I don't use that one, or the adult one, because if you click on those, usually you'll see a lot of genitalia. And I don't really do second life adult um, content, so we're not gonna go there. Then you have the keywords, you can find things by keywords. And uh, let's say we were looking for a uh, bento head. Okay, so, if you just press, you, sometimes this comes up if you press enter, so I always click on search. And this is the page you will get. There's 39,261 items that match your search. So you can think, oh my gosh, what can, where do I go? What do I do? But if you look over here, you can have, you can see there's lots and lots and lots of different options here. Okay. So if you wanted an animal head, here it is, animated objects, animations, apparel, art, audio and video, this is one of those, avatar accessories, avatar appearance, avatar components has the most, which would mean that's probably where the heads are. So let's go there. Okay, these are ads up here, this, this line here, this all ads, okay. Now we can see some of these, um, there's a, one Linden one, and all sorts of different ones. And then you can, this is on relevance by default. What I usually do is I start with newest first and see what's the latest heads or items that have come up. Okay. And we can see some heads here that have come out recently. Yeah, so there's some pretty ones you can look at. The most supported heads, not relevant to this obviously, but the most supported head in Second Life at the moment, there's three of them. There are Katwa, uh, there's Genius, Genius, and there is uh, Le, Le Tukka, <laughs> I can't pronounce their name. I'm terrible with spelling names or pronouncing names, so um, I apologize about that. You'll figure it out. Le Lutka, I think it is. Anyways, so this is one of the items you can use newt first, but sometimes in different categories you get thousands and thousands of gacha items, and we're going to go into gadgets in a different episode. But basically, a gadget is an item that you can buy, uh, usually through like um, a machine that will give you different gadgets, different items, like random items from a group, and then you can sell them on the marketplace, send them to other people. Okay, so usually that's what the newest ones comes up. It's very annoying. Uh, price low to high, price high to low, A to Z, Z to A, land impact. This is important if you're buying items for your land, like a house or furniture, or anything that you're going to rest out on your house. It's important to know how many prims it has. I would go to low, always low to high. And then the rating um, would be high to low. Let's try that for our bento heads to see what happens. So that changed some of the some of the items here that came up first, right? This one's the most popular, I think, or the best rated, I should say, the best rated one. And um, let's see, rating, land impact, and best selling. Best selling, like I, I've mentioned before, you know, it's kind of all right, but the problem is that 
often the best selling items are very very old and the bento heads is not so old i mean some of these are actually quite old um but yeah it's, it's one of those things it's like because they're been on the market for so long that's why they have so many sales type thing right so you still have to try the demos and all that type of stuff right so let's see this is pretty popular here they have one review that's you know um that um have but it's one of the best selling ones so let's take a look at that one could buy that one for my toddler avatar um it's been updated it's good let's see it's got only one review um i don't know it doesn't say here when it was oh it's a skin okay so it's, that's a skin i think oh it's a retired item no more updates since the update in 2020 try the demo see it's very important for you to try demos okay and normally under the buy now button if the person has did it, uh, given a demo or linked a demo to their product that's where you're going to see it okay if it's in world usually the demos are free like zero in the marketplace i've seen a lot of demos for one linden and i think it's because of the charge that doesn't allow you to do a zero but i could be wrong anyways for things that you're not sure and they have a demo always get the demo always get the demo okay the other thing you can do is look for a merchant so we looked at the heads earlier one of my favorites it's katwa so let's see um here katwa clip is the one that sells katwa so we could there to that to her store and then we can do best selling or newest first i like to do newest first to see what she's come out with and she hasn't really added much since the last time I was here a few months ago, which is interesting. <laughs> um, some of the heads, yeah, some nice heads. In look here, she has discount and credits at in world store. Why do they do that? Because when a person sells something on the marketplace, uh, Linden Labs takes a percentage of their income. If you go to their store in world, they don't. They don't take any uh, a percentage. And so in this case, I would actually go there. I would go to the store. You can see she has a blog and in-world in store, okay? So I would go here and you get a map, you click that and you, your client starts and you can go there, okay? And check, see what her new items are in the store and see if they match what she has out here. So anyways, that's a very basic how-to of the marketplace in Second Life. Uh, you can find just about anything in here. Let's see if we can find one of my items. Oh yeah, you can search the store. Once you get to a store, you can actually search the store for a, a particular item. So my Katwa hair that I love is called Uma. Let's see if she has it still. There it is. Yeah, she still has it. There's the demo for zero. And there's the actual head. It's very expensive. Anyways, uh, let's go to items and let's look for the cat sound pad. Okay, let's search for that. Oh, there's lots now. But, uh, newest first. Let's do oldest first on this one. <laughs> That's interesting. Ah, here we go. This is mine. It's not the oldest. I thought it was the oldest. <laughs> this is my cat sounds. It's very cute. You put it on and you can make all sorts of cat noises and sounds. And you can see it in world to see what the sounds are like. Okay. So yeah, that is the marketplace. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and to like and press that little bell thing so that when I set to, I upload more videos, you can get them right away. Until next time, this is Virtual Emotes, teaching you about Second Life.